Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back, another day, another video, another day in this crazy hobby of ours. Hope everyone had a good weekend, it's Monday. Uh, Mosaic football dropped, which is looks pretty sweet from what I've seen. Haven't seen any of that in the stores. Uh, today I went to Target, uh, just randomly, and they looks like I caught them, they must have just restocked or something like that. So I found some of these. I didn't find any other basketball at all. Uh, so I don't know if this replaced like those orange Fairfield Target boxes that I've opened up on here before. Uh, they seem a little different though. So um, looks like a variety of packs. You get 10 unopened basketball card packs. And I guess you can maybe get some memorabilia redemptions in them as well. Uh, and apparently you can find a Michael Jordan rookie card in here also which i'm sure is next to impossible but cool nonetheless so figured i'd open up one of these for you guys and see what they have to offer uh before we get into it go ahead and like and subscribe uh trying to get up to 100 followers this month by this month uh the end of the month excuse me uh we're at 94 and hopefully we can make it so tell your friends what's going on at the salute to hoops channel i'd love to have them here and hopefully they uh like what they see and they subscribe so let's just jump right into it here and we will see what these have to offer not expecting anything amazing out of this kind of some low expectations but we'll see what we have so let's open up this here it looks like a lot of 90s stuff so we have uh, a pack of NBA completes. Of course, none of these are complete without NBA complete. We've got some Skybox 9192. Uh, some more Skybox. I'm uncertain what year that is. Some Fleer 1991 basketball. Some 1990 Fleer. Uh, three packs of NBA hoops. Uh, some 1516 NBA threads and then another pack of NBA hoops. So not the not the best packs in the world here. Uh, that's for sure. So you're not doesn't look like they're gonna throw a bunch of prism in here or anything like that. Uh, but uh, let's just make this a I guess a review and see what it has to offer. So it, a lot of low end stuff here. Uh, we can start with some NBA hoops. I can't say that uh, there's probably anything good in here. A lot of, a lot of just '90s wax. So uh, Scott Skiles. We can kind of go through this quickly here. Purvis Ellison, Blair Rasmussen, Rod Higgins, AJ English, Mark West, some D Brown. Uh, I remember at the height of the uh, the Last Dance stuff. These. NBA hoops packs for selling for you know considerable amount of money, not considerable amount, but uh, they were selling. So like Chuck Person, John Cheney, Moses Malone, lights, camera, action. We got Don Nelson here, Tyrone Hill, and Kenny Gattinson. Dennis Dembo, I've never even, I haven't heard of a lot of these guys. Ken Norman, Mike Kaminsky. Okay, so we got a Michael Jordan. I guess that's not too bad. Mitch Richmond. And like I said, I guess my expectations were pretty low coming into the video. And they're kind of even lower now that I opened the box. Mark West, Bill Cartwright, Craig Elo. Kim Olajuwon. Okay, uh, we'll save the Fleer basketball because that might have something decent in it. I guess we can open up the Skybox. And I do recall that I remember seeing um, like a Michael Jordan Skybox uh, once again during the height of the Last Dance hype and all that stuff. One of these, a graded one, I remember went for like 200 bucks doubt that's the case anymore so there's nothing notable in that uh, pack there we can go on to the purple purple skybox we got eldon campbell tom chambers 
kind of a retro look to these, and you can tell they're from the 90s. Bill Cartwright, it's Mark Akers. Okay. Nothing too great in there. Uh, let's move on to the NBA Complete 16-17. Uh, Another really low, lower end product. Uh, I don't even know if they make like a like a updated version of these. The only NBA Complete I've ever seen is really kind of three or four or five years old. So DeAndre Jordan, Mark Gasol, Kyrie, Robert Covington, R.J. Hunter, Alice Jefferson, Henry Ellenson. Ricky Card never heard of you. Omer Sheik, Anthony Bennett. Wow, okay, that's terrible. Daniel Hamilton, Marcin Gortat, Chris Dunn. Highly touted prospect in that draft. Never really panned out in the NBA. Uh, Dirk Nowinski, insert home. Uh, these are like gray or like silver parallels, I believe they call them. Mike Conley, Darren Williams, Eric Gordon, Langston Galloway, Alan Crabb, and Eric Bledsoe. Okay, nothing good in there. Uh, let's move on to the 15-16 NBA threads here. Seems to be our only decent, like, modernized product, I suppose we can refer to it as. Rodney Hood. We got Paul Pierce, Clippers Paul Pierce. We got Rudy Gay. Mo Williams, TJ McGonnell. Ricky, insert there. Kevin Love. Drew Holiday. Myers Leonard. And Ryan Anderson. Okay, so no one really good in there either. Jeez. Okay, so we got the Fleer 91 basketball in 1990 last. Let's see what these have to offer, suppose. We got Scotty Pippen, JRE, LaSalle, Thompson, All Star Game, Robert Parrish, Charles Smith. Derek Harper, Dominique Wilkins, Danny Ferry, and Buck Williams. Wow. Moving on to 1990. See if we can score a Jordan in here. Theodore Edwards, Vernon Maxwell, Kenny Smith, Johnny Dawkins, Chuck Person, Reggie Lewis, Tim Perry, Trent Tucker, Dennis Rodman, Cliff Robinson, rest in peace to him, Stacy King, Wayman Tisdale, Billy Thompson, and Mark Price. Okay. So, that concludes all 10 packs, and really the only thing we walked out with was the uh, Michael Jordan 1989 NBA Hoops card. I guess it's nice that we hit a Jordan, but uh, for the most part, I mean, it was a dud on all those packs. Uh, as far as the box itself goes, uh, I paid $20 for it, so uh, considerable, I mean, not a huge amount of money. It's just the cost of a regular blaster, but uh, we got a lot of 90s kind of just junk wax, unfortunately, so... Uh, the Fleer 90 was probably our best bet at getting a card worth some decent money, but we kind of struck out. So, uh, would I pay 20 bucks again for one? I probably would just because it's kind of a, a cool, uh, I guess cool risk to take. So, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll just walk away with, uh, this Jordan and kind of call it maybe even who knows. I, I don't know what the comps would be on this thing. It's NBA hoops. So who really knows? But yeah, so that was the uh, the box, guys. Here it is once again, uh, the greatest world's greatest card chase box. So twenty bucks and a lot of '90s wax is what we uh, we ended up with. So maybe you guys can take a risk on it yourself. Uh, you probably I might do another review on one of these. In, uh, we'll see what else comes in them. But that concludes this video, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your week.
I got some more videos coming out this week, so stay tuned for those. And until then, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.